Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is your girl, Najee. If you did not know, now you know. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. Um, we're going to be in the kitchen today. I'm going to be meal prepping with you guys. Well, you guys are going to be meal prepping. I'm just going to be making a meal and like a leftover because I really don't have time to meal prep. But, you know, this is like I'm starting. This is a good start. We're going to have like shrimp, salmon, asparagus, rice. I didn't have a lot of rice left. You guys are definitely going to need more rice than this. Um, but that was enough for just me because, you know, I'm just feeding me or whatnot. Um, this meal is really easy to make. It only took me 30 minutes to do, so there's absolutely no reason why we guys are ordering out every night. We could just get your butts in the kitchen and make you a good wholesome meal, child. So, yeah, we're going to get right into this uh, meal session. Uh, a lot of people that meal prep, I know, do not like to use, like, a lot of seasoning. They stick to, like, the onion powders, garlic powders, and, like, peppers, and, like, the natural vegetables and onions to, like, season their food and stuff. Um, I do like to taste a little bit of sodium in my food, and that typically comes from, like, the jerk seasoning and like teriyaki seasoning that I like to put on top of the salmon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So yeah, I like to use extra virgin olive oil over like any other oils, any other sprays, anything like that. Why? Because olive oil, for example, is stripped away from all of its nutrients. With extra virgin olive oil, it is a great source for antioxidants and healthy fats. So that's why I like to do um, extra virgin olive oil and you should too. The only thing about it is it's really expensive. Um, it's like $25 for a bottle like this um, and you run through it kind of fast especially if you cook a lot um, but other than that yeah I like to use a non-stick pan why you guys because it's a non-stick pan um, duh but yeah um, I go ahead and I have my water boiling boiling um, for the rice and I like to jump straight into my vegetables I like to slow cook my vegetables so they can be like really nice and cooked and not burnt or or whatever um so i like to start with my asparagus i do cover it with um, olive oil so that way the seasoning can really stick to it i cut the ends off of the asparagus because i don't like the ends i mean it's kind of pointless so i go ahead and put that on there and then a lot of times i do cut up peppers and tomatoes and onions and stuff like that but i felt like cheating today we're talking about 30 minutes here so um i took my pico de gallo and i took some of that put that in there to let it like cook and stuff with the asparagus um, and then I like to take a spoon of butter to put it in my boiling water for my rice so that way my rice does not stick to the pot and then um, I go ahead and I go back to season the asparagus and stuff I like to season my asparagus with um, really only lemon pepper because it's really really good that's all it really needs is lemon pepper um, I like to so then I had like this little bit of rice left. You, that was enough for me because I'm only feeding myself, like I said. So I take my rice and I put it in there and I just let it do this little thing or whatever. And then I move on to my salmon. Um, I do like to wash my meats or like, you know, rinse my meats off. Um, if you don't do that, you should probably do that. Um, and then I go ahead and I season it. I use onion powder, um, garlic salt, I use parsley leaves, I also use um, pepper. I typically keep it simple with the seasoning. I go ahead and I put that in the oven. Um, I have the oven on boil and then, um, or broil, I'm sorry. And then I like to move on to my already kind of like pre-cooked frozen shrimp because um, it's just easy to do. Shrimp is pretty fast to cook and I like to go ahead and season it with my Obey seasoning because you can't go wrong with some good old traditional Obey seasoning. Then I'll just go ahead and let that cook and saute and do this thing and stir that up. And then yeah. After I take the salmon out of the oven, um, it's not fully cooked through. I like to eat my meats and stuff well done you don't have to but I typically do I went ahead and I took my little glaze sauce that I made with the teriyaki and the jerk season um, I did like a spoon of jerk seasoning which is really spicy and then I poured maybe like a spoon and a half of the teriyaki sauce stir that up and then I glaze that right over top of the um, salmon and then I put it back in the oven and bam this is my meal. <laughs> I know that was pretty fast, but you know, I'm not really gonna draw out a meal. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to cook out there. But um, this is just like, I'm big on presentation, so this was like cool for you guys to watch, I hope. 
yeah if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys in my next videos bye